Hi everyone, this is Vishnu Madhun Reddy Yerva here and today I just wanted to share a short story on decoding IoT based smart farming system using machine learning algorithms. So this is a paper that is written and after a few complex tests over the paper I just wanted to decode this paper into a simple form and wanted to give the gist of the paper that is actually there here. So this paper is basically aiming on developing an algorithm that is needed to be used in an IoT system. And this algorithm is how efficient based on the previous work that is already there. So this is what this paper is going to explain. Starting with the prominence of the agriculture. Agriculture has recently been identified as one of the main trends of the global and national economies. Farming is one of the most important jobs in the world and the product is crucial is the diversity of crops. With the growth of the population, agriculture has faced so many concerns that may endanger its future such as drought, crop quality and productivity issues and yield projection issues and all. Agriculture is undergoing a significant revolution in the co collection and use of the data to inform effective agricultural choices. Smart farming is application of current information and communication technology that is ICT. And uh, that ICT such as machine learning algorithms and the rationalization of national resource usage as a capital based system advanced technology is food growing in sustainable and clean methods. In general, the agro industrial and environmental sectors use IOTs and data analysis in both diagnostics and control of smart farming systems. With the goal of delivering critical information to ultimate farming, the consumer about the foundation and features of agro products and systems has uh, formed in this introduction. And the purpose of the smart farms uh, is to generally the paper is addressing on the automation, efficiency of the algorithm and the climate independency to be grown in any, any of the climate and reducing wastage of the resources uh, like replacing water properly and uh, the nutrition of the soil is taken care properly uh, without using more and more of fertilizers. Maximizing the crop yield to get the revolution of the green and environmental friendly to not to use synthetic chemicals absorbing CO2 through the soil and the sensors that is used in this IoT device that is mentioned or electromagnetic sensor, optical sensor, mechanical sensor, electrochemical sensor for the fertilizers and all and the airflow sensor and acoustic sensor. The previous work uh, of the study that it pro proposes is so there are a few study works in the prior work that use data analysis techniques for a better discussion. Support system of for agricultural data. Most of them use traditional procedures without addressing model performance. And some of them skip data pretreatment in the early stages. IoT solutions are available in a variety of fields, including healthcare, security, smart homes, retail, smart cities, and agriculture. Because there is a need for constant mentoring and control in agriculture. IoT implementation is the right option. IoT is utilized in agricultural applications such as microagriculture, livestock, and greenhouses, which are kept classified into several control regions. All of these applications may be monitored using various internet-based information sensors devices through uh, wireless sensor networks and which which is Farmers obtain useful data using IoT based sensors. Some IoT based devices analyze and process data remotely through cloud services, assisting researchers and agriculturists in making better judgments. And um, <coughs> in this, as per the image that we have seen here, like it is being using W part based machine learning techniques. In using W part, we, we actually get the proposed solution of part classification technique. That is one classification technique that we are going to use and build our customized algorithm over it. 
and the proposed solution. So <clears throat> the wrapper algorithm in this study, an efficient prediction method term part is employed for agricultural production and drought prediction. And it is based on the wrapper feature technology methodology. The wrapper algorithm is fundamentally tackling the challenge of maximizing class fair performance. While the part is enhanced version of C4.5 and repo processes, it is a partial decision tree approach. The suggestion method was tested using five data sets relating to agriculture production and drought data that may be gathered through IoT based smart farming systems. And it is outperformed existing machine learning approaches in terms of accuracy, precision, and sensitivity, and F score. So, the part method provides an effective prediction system that consists of three distinct phases. Data pre preparation phase, feature selection phase, prediction phase. The goal of this study is to <coughs> develop an intelligent and robust prediction. Based on machine learning methods that can identify drought and crop yield in smart agricultural applications. As a result of feature selection approach capable of correctly specifying relevant characteristics in this necessary. Wrapper algorithm is used to choose most of the important characteristics throughout the feature selection process. And the part classifier is then used in the smart farming system to categorize the forecast drought and crop field. So in different phases that we are having here, like in, as shown here, uh, we are having data collecting, uh, data supervision and management, and feature selection, analyzing of agricultural data. So in data collecting, raw data may be collected and using the smart farming based diversity sensor. Uh, that is done in three, three levels. Um, in first level, it is you IoT sensors are, and actuators are in change of, charge of collecting and monitoring various environmental indicators at this level. And the gateway and edge devices communicate with the sensor network and cloud services servers at this level. So in the next level, cloud computing is employed at this level. And uh, after that, we mobile or web apps interface is created so that anyone can interact. So after like in the next phase, uh, the data supervision and management, then we just extract the data from data sources and transform the converted agriculture data into proper format. In the feature selection, the filter and wrapper feature selection method is utilized to step by step access to the environmental indicators and pick up the effective indicators on the agricultural system. Additionally, these filter methods generate a score for each feature and then choose the features with the highest scores. The next phase is analysis of agricultural data. Here we do the part algorithm technique as shown here. So preparing the data or an appropriate environmental indicators for drought prediction using supervised machine learning methods to classify agricultural data. The part method is employed in this step build the classification classifier for production purposes as shown here we have taken the variables with the x comma y and the impurity of at m is computed using the impurity function h and uh, there we go like the left part and the right part with the uh, impurity parameters that has been calculated and we will be taking the average and using the Gini score we will we'll discuss about it little further more so, <clears throat> the performance matrix. After the data preparation phase, the wrapper feature selection technique is employ employed in this step to assess environmental indicators and that is the part algorithm phase is also done. So in the performance matrix, what we do is we take the several statistical and mathematical models that are used to evaluate. Evaluate uh, that is, and compared with uh, the previous um, work that is being done in, in the proposed solution. So the performance of machine learning model is in a precise classification and prediction job. The, these performance assessment criteria such as accuracy, precision call and F score are used to evaluate, evaluate the proposed algorithms performance to the current algorithms. So <clears throat> the Proposed solution, the previous work is done with the true-false values and uh, giving the false, neutral and positives um, of the classification model on a specified test. 
So this is correctly classified by the classifier precision measure, measure of the correctness of the positive labeled examples. So calculating these all values to in the previous work that has been done is we can do it like this. Using the accuracy, we can take the average and the position for the position average and the sensitivity for the neutral average. And the other thing is tenfold cross validation technique. This strategy has a benefit of lowering bias in the training testing data sets with random sampling is used. To begin the data set is divided into two equal parts. Uh, that is uh, K minus one subsets and tested in the K subset. This procedure has been repeated K times with the K separate training and testing data sets. And um, suppose we are having K folds that is equals to 10 and we are folding like testing on the 10 stages and we'll be getting the number of selected features for each stage of each algorithm here. Yeah. So <clears throat> as per the results that we have occurred, the random forest RF and uh, LR uh, that is uh, linear regression, KNN, ANN approximate nearest numbers and K nearest numbers and neo bias and part rule based classifier that is wrapper. And that is how we have tested actually, uh, that is the part and for every of the class algorithm, we have five different uh, correlation attributes that is classifiers and uh, we, we have been testing like for the part based uh, rule class, part rule based classifier, we got most results, uh, most accurate and precision results than any other uh, classifiers. Previously, they used to use most of the random forest techniques because there will be large set of data. But uh, recently, they this is a proposed solution by this paper, and this is more efficient right now. So, based on different um, crop analysis, we can see like every crop has uh, different yields of growth, and uh, in each uh, the part based proposed algorithm is top in the list. Analysis in our experiment, uh, the single classifiers produced, you know, uh, when compared to current algorithm, the suggestion technique obtains highest accuracy. Um, that is, um, yeah, from 92.51, that uh, based on different algorithms, we can see. And uh, recognizes that proper seasons for each crop as well as related trend to the crop, particularly location and proposes season crops such as. Uh, Rainfall and all, it, we can just predict uh, to warm farmers uh, of including drought so that they may prepare it and take appropriate action. And uh, uh, agricultural usages uh, with the purpose that is, and we will be processing the data according to the agricultural usage. And that is how we will be using the part method over here and to design that. Based on that, we are getting the most highest accuracy as 92.51. And an efficient prediction method named part trip is present that can be employed in um, decision making in the smart farming environment that depending on the IoT system is what the conclusion is that is what we hold until now. And this is uh, the comparison final results between the proposed algorithm and um, the previous uh, algorithms. And in this research an effective prediction approach known as uh, like part is provided which may be used uh, in a decision making smart system in, for agriculture uh, in IoT. Wrappers feature selection and the part algorithm were both employed in such a strategy. The wrapper approach is used to evaluate gathered data from environmental indicators. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, uh, for drought and agricultural production issues only it will be used like only for production issues we can actually use it for because part is one such algorithm that only predicts uh, alpha alpha return values so it is very much efficient in smart based prediction based on the climates and all but if there is less data it it takes so much data to train if there is less data uh, we can't actually assure that it is that good algorithm to use in that case the drought crop, uh, crop build production uh, predictor is built using part algorithm. Accuracy is 93.42 and F score is 93.40. Both of 
which are considerable when compared to existing approaches so that's uh, how like proportional algorithm works better and fine with what we are having and a uh, few future impro improvement is what uh, considering the time series analysis to predict future values based on previously observed values and that is more important because we have to predict the future yielding crops that what else is needed for the society and what else is needed uh, for the soil to be grown that quickly and uh, have high yield results based on soil nutrients and irrigated area and so uh, these anomalies of data will improve the accuracy by multifold uh, developing an unsupervised clustering using iot with the device monitor and all uh, by calculating the ph nutrients and nitrogen values that were in the soil the computer vision system using deep learning models to improve the quality of production in smart low farming field is the main goal of this paper and you can go through the references uh, if you want to go with the paper and uh, thank you